Good day everyone, my name is Richard Angelo Luzon from the Bachelor of Science and Civil Engineering and for today we will answer a sample problem involving coefficient of restitution. The problem is, a ball drop on a floor from a height of 1.5 meters bounces back to a height of 0 0.85 meters. What is the coefficient of restitution? So we will answer the problem. In this problem, we are solving for the coefficient of restitution. And in order for us to arrive at a valid answer, kailangan natin visualize the scenario correctly and completely. So ito ngayon yung illustration ng scenario. Idrin up yung ball na ang taas niya is 1.5 meters before the collision. We must take note that it is before the collision at ide-denote natin yung ball as the object 1, yung floor is the object 2. Now, on this figure, after na to ng collision, that's why the ball bounce back. Nung actual collision is ganito yung itsura niya, but since the object is a ball, it will bounce back. When the ball bounces back after the collision, the height changes from the 1.5 meter initial height, the final height becomes the 0 0.85 meters. In solving this problem, we need to assign positive and negative value in the directions. And this Cartesian plane will represent those values. Kapag pataas yung object, such as ito, positive value siya. Kapag kapababa yung object, considered as negative in value. So we know that the coefficient of restitution involves velocities in the formula. Dahil nga E is equals to V sub 2 prime minus V sub 1 all over V sub 1 minus V sub 2. As you can see, puro velocity yung nasa equation but even without velocity, kahit walang given na velocity sa problem na to, is we can still solve this problem by utilizing the kinematics, specifically the velocity equation in the kinematics. At we should also consider that yung object 2 natin kasi is floor. Therefore, yung kanyang movement is at rest siya initially. Nung final, nung final or yung after no collision is at rest pa rin siya. Kaya naman, consider na natin yung ating V sub 2 at yung ating V sub 2 prime will be equal to 0. Since from rest lang naman siya, initial and after. Sa object 2 lang to applicable. Yung object 1 is hindi kasi constantly gumagalaw siya. So, after natin makancel yan is makakancel na rin yun from here, from the original equation, makakancel na to. And ito. Ang matitira na lang sa atin ngayon is E is equals to negative V sub 1 prime all over V sub 1. So, after natin masimplify dito yung equation, is magagamit na natin yung pagde-derive ng velocity using the kinematics. Alam natin na mayroon tayong formula ganito sa kinematics. Whereas V sub... Whereas... Alam natin na may ganito tayong formula sa kinematics. At since dito, dito muna tayo mag-focus sa case na to. Alam natin na initially, wala namang velocity yung ball. At rest lang din siya. Kaya naman makakancel na to. At ito makakancel na. Ang matitira na lang sa atin is 2G at yung Y is papalitan natin ng H. Since Pwede naman natin gawing height yan para mas madali. So, after nyan, ito, magiging ganyan na lang yung itsura nya. Makikita nyo, V square is equals to 2GH. And we need to get rid of the exponent. Kaya naman, nag-square tayo from both sides. At after nyan, is nakapag-derive na tayo. V is equals to 2GH. Which means that pwede na natin i-substitute to dito. However, kagaya na sinabi ko kanina, we must consider 
na dahil dito sa figure na to is pababa yung object, negative yung magiging sign niya. Therefore, lalagyan natin siya ng negative, square root of 2GH. So, in the numerator naman, same process, makakancel din to, at magiging V square is equals to 2GH prime or final. We need to get rid of the exponent, kaya in square root din both sides. At mag-a-arrive tayo ngayon sa V is equals to square root of 2GH prime. Wala to, wala to. Dahil na wala na yung 2 na exponent. After nyan is sa substitute na natin to dito. And finally, magiging ganito na yung itsura ng equation. E is equals to negative square root of 2GH prime all over negative square root of 2GH. Makikita natin na may magkakamuka. So therefore, pwede tayong gumawa ng cancellation. Makakancel na yung negative sign, makakancel natin tong 2G. Ang matitira na lang is yung H prime or final height all over the initial height. So, ito na yung pinaka-equation na gagamitin natin after the cancellation. E is equals to square root of H prime all over square root of H. At dahil may, alam naman natin yung mga values na to, alam natin na yung initial height is 0.85 meters. At alam din natin yung height na initial is 1.5 meters. By calculating, mag-a-arrive tayo sa coefficient of restitution na 0.753. Walang unit yung coefficient of restitution, kaya naging ganito yung kanyang pinalabasan. And we should also consider na kanina, dun sa sinold natin na to, ang i-consider na natin dyan is ito. 